Oh my God, look at that. Ooh, that's some pink It's corn. beautiful. There's like 14, there's like 14. I wanna eat it right now, no, but- No, don't eat it. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat it right now. Okay. We're gonna make Shanky. shanky. We're gonna make Shanky <laughs> fruck these. Shanky? <laughs> We're gonna make Frankie shuck these later. Say that five times fast. Gonna We're gonna make Frankie shuck these, Shanky. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid. Mike. Thanks for clicking on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Today we're gonna go out to the field and check on that corn and see if it's ready to officially, officially pick. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we checked on this corn uh, last week and we figured that it would be about another week before it was ready to harvest and it's been a week so let's see you guys still gonna be careful because the rattlesnakes over here there's like I don't how many know. rattlesnakes are over here I don't know you haven't counted them I well I haven't found any yet but I'm ah. just being cautious all right, so um, you know we had some people uh, mention last week about the uh, the sisters. Uh, maybe we can spin this around and and put this behind us. Um, you can. I'll move around. You can just stand there and let this be behind you. Just stand here. Stand there and look pretty, woman. So when people talk about the sisters, uh, usually what they're talking about is the three sisters. Uh, which is most commonly a squash variety, a pole bean variety, and a corn variety, right? The three sisters, the corn grows tall, uh, the, the, the beans grow up the corn, and then the squash grows across the ground and creates uh, kind of a ground cover uh, to help with the moisture and, and you know, it's just, it's just a good symbiotic relationship uh, between three varieties of plants. So um, the three sisters is not really the only way to do this. I love adding sunflowers to this concept because the sunflowers brings the pollinators you can do multiple varieties of squash or melon they do the same thing crawl across the ground and, and create that ground cover uh, so what we have going on here is a squash a melon a sunflower and a corn and there's no beans out here now beans do impart nitrogen in which is what you know there's a lot to the three sisters concept uh, in the symbioticness, uh, uh, you know, of the companion planting. Um, we pastured chickens right here this year. So there's a lot of nitrogen right here, which is the precise reason that I didn't include beans. So um, let's pick some of this corn. Sid, you wanna pick some corn? What? Pick some corn. Okay. See what you got. No, just climb in there. Ooh, I still, see, I see a squash down there. I see a squash down there in front of me. Right I know, but there's a squash we missed right there. Yeah, but you, you see it? This? No, no, no. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another one. There's, They're everywhere. We missed lots of. That's okay. Never mind. Get the corn. Get the corn. Hey, focus. I don't know how to get corn. You don't know how to get corn? Well, I mean, I know, but you're going to yell at me because you always. Why I am I going to yell? When, when do I yell? I don't do I might say, dude, you're, you're screwing that up. There, is that right? I don't know, is it? Did you get the corn off? Yeah. I think it's right then. Might use two hands. Well, I've got corn in my hand. Here you do. This is why we can't be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why is it so wet? Um, I don't know. Well, Who's biting me? Ow. There's out here. Uh, no, it's like a slimy wet. And the ants are biting me. I don't like this game anymore. All right, there it is, guys. We got uh, about a dozen ears of corn off of this. This is a uh, an heirloom variety, uh, heritage breed, if you will, variety of corn from uh, South, maybe not South America. I don't remember now. I'll look it up. Anyway, it uh, doesn't quite get as big, doesn't quite get as sweet, uh, but it hasn't been modified, so that's why we grew it. And um, we've had success. So we'll do this again next year, and we'll do some different variations on uh, you know, the sisters uh, incorporated in the field. 
Uh, one thing to note, I, I didn't grow enough corn in that patch. Anybody that's gonna comment on, dude, that's not enough for good pollination, I'm aware. Uh, I went out and hand pollinated these myself because I knew that I didn't have enough uh, there. Most of the time you want a minimum of four rows. This was just an experiment to see if I like this variety of corn, which I did. Now I know for next year, and next year we'll we'll plant larger patches of it. As far as the eye can see. Well, my, as far as some eyes can see, some eyes are better than others. Well, as far as I can see when I don't have my glasses or contacts in. Which is like the end of your nose. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. So don't forget guys, talk less, do more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. Neil, there they are. Come on, guys. Neil, Caroline, come here. Want some treats? Come on. Oh, come on. Yummy, yummies. Neil. Oh, yeah, babies. All my babies. Yay. Is that yummy? Is that so yummy?